NASA has discovered a super Earth that could have conditions to sustain life. The new exoplanet is 137 light years away, or about roughly 800 trillion miles. Could there be a super Earth or an Earth sized exoplanet out there in the habitable zone of other planetary systems? Well, astronomers might have just found some of them. Astronomers might have found not just one, but several. So, what makes these planets potential candidates for life? In January 2024, astronomers didn't just discover a new planet. They found a supersized Earth, TOI-715b. Yeah, that's right, a planet that's bigger, rockier, and orbits a red dwarf star. But this isn't fiction, it's real. And the best part? This planet is chilling in the Goldilocks zone, the sweet spot where water and maybe life could exist. Oh, and did we mention there might be a sneaky Earth-sized buddy hiding in the same star system? Mind blown yet? Just wait, it gets better. Stick around, because we're about to dive deep into this cosmic treasure hunt. We'll uncover how TWI-715b was discovered, what makes it so special, and what the James Webb Space Telescope might reveal about its secrets. Is TOI-715b the next Earth? Or is there another Earth 2.0 waiting to be found? Let's explore together. Our channel loves diving into the possibilities of habitable planets out there, and we've got more cosmic discoveries waiting for you. So, hit the like button, share this video with your fellow space friends, and subscribe for more stellar updates. And don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss a new discovery. So, TOI-715b, a supersized Earth buddy, was spotted using the transit method by the TESS mission, or the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, a space telescope for NASA's Explorer program, designed to search for exoplanets using the transit method in an area 400 times larger than that covered by the Kepler mission. Yeah. TESS is like the universe's biggest paparazzi, snapping pics of planets as they photobomb their stars. This discovery, dropped in January 2024, was a major milestone. Like, move over, James Webb, there's a new telescope in town. But seriously, how does this whole transit method thing even work? Have you ever had an experience where you're chilling, staring at a light bulb across the room, and suddenly, out of nowhere, a moth swoops in, dims the light for a split second, and then poof, it's gone. Now think of that same scenario, but instead of a light bulb, it's a star millions of miles away. And instead of a moth, it's a planet doing its cosmic cameo. Yep, that's what we call the transit method. So how do we catch these sneaky planets? By staring at stars, like really staring, without blinking, waiting for even the tiniest flicker. This whole process is about as intense as playing an extreme game of hide-and-seek. Kepler, the OG of exoplanet missions from 2009 to 2018, was all about this life. It spent years peeping around 150,000 stars, trying to spot these tiny planetary photobombs. And when it did, oh boy, we could figure out the size of the planet's orbit just by watching how long it takes to circle its star. We could also figure out the star's mass, which is just a fancy way of saying how heavy the star is. Now, fast forward to 2018, and NASA launched TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, basically Kepler's cool cousin who's a bit more extra. TESS didn't just focus on a tiny patch of sky like Kepler did. It was all about that broad view, casting a wider net, looking for those blink-and-you'll-miss-it dimming events. But hold up, it's not just Kepler and Tess out here doing all the work. The Spitzer Space Telescope, Hubble, and now the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, are all in on the action too. These bad boys aren't just finding planets. They're like cosmic detectives, uncovering everything from a planet's mass and composition to the weather patterns up there. Of those thousands and billions of planets in our galaxy, how many are like the Earth, or like Jupiter? 
how many planets does a typical star have? Can a planet orbit more than one star? Yes. Can a planet exist without any star at all? Also yes. One surprising result from the study of planet populations is that the most common kind of planet in our galaxy might be one we don't have in our solar system, a super-Earth, up to twice as big and 10 times as heavy as our Earth. So why is Talk 715b such a big deal? Well, the term super-Earth makes it sound like it's Earth on steroids, but really, it just means it's bigger than Earth and smaller than Neptune. But we don't really know what these super-Earths are like. They don't exist in our solar system, so every discovery is like opening a mystery box. What's inside? Who knows? But it's probably awesome. The recent discovery of TOI 715b is a huge win for TESS and shows us that we're just scratching the surface in our search for potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. In January 2024, the space nerds over at the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society confirmed the discovery of TOI 715b. The discovery was led by Georgina Dransfield from the University of Birmingham, UK, who basically said, Hey, look, I found a super-Earth, no biggie. But trust us, it's a huge biggie because TOI 715b is the first super-Earth caught by the TESS mission. So what's the scoop on TOI 715b? Well, this rocky rebel is practically hugging its star with an orbit so tight it takes just 19 days to complete one lap around its buddy, the dwarf star TOI-715. And by dwarf star, we mean this guy is a tiny one, a red dwarf with only about a quarter of the sun's mass and radius. But hey, size isn't everything, right? Because red dwarfs are way dimmer than our sun, TOI-715b is chilling at 0.083 astronomical units from its star, right in its star's habitable zone. That's right, folks, aka Goldilocks zone, where the conditions are just right for liquid water to potentially exist. And you know what that means. Life could be a possibility. But why did the Earth get invited to every party? Because it's always got the best atmosphere. So, why is this habitable zone so important? It's like beachfront real estate, but in space. If a planet's too close to its star, it's getting a serious sunburn, too far, and it's in an eternal ice age. But hit that sweet spot, and you've got yourself a prime location for liquid water, the key ingredient in our recipe for life as we know it. That's why scientists go nuts for planets in the Goldilocks zone, looking for signs of life beyond Earth. But hold on to your telescopes, because soon, the James Webb Space Telescope is about to get in on the action. This high-tech marvel was built to observe exoplanets like TOI-715b, using its infrared superpowers to detect stuff like water, oxygen, methane, and other molecules that could scream, life here. If there's something to be found, JWST is going to find it. JWST is going to break down the light coming from TOI 715b like it's analyzing the ingredients of a mystery smoothie. And with TOI 715b being so close to its star, it's a prime target for JWST to figure out what's going on in its atmosphere. And here's another reason to keep an eye on TOI 715b. It's got a pretty chill star. TOI-715 doesn't seem to be one of those drama queen red dwarf stars that flare up and scorch its planets. Nope, this star is all about that stable life, which is a good sign for TOI-715b's potential to be a habitable world. So while other red dwarfs are out here throwing cosmic temper tantrums, TOI-715 is just keeping things cool, making TOI-715b a prime candidate for life. In short, TOI-715b is one heck of a find, and with JWST on the case, we're just scratching the surface of what we might discover. Is it a habitable world? Only time and some seriously intense space detective work will tell. Now hold on to your telescopes, folks, 
because there's another potential planet in the TOI-7 Houghton Fiend system, and it's got a name that rolls right off the tongue, TIC-271-971130.2. All right, maybe it's not the catchiest name, but this little mystery planet could be a game changer. If it's confirmed, it might just snag the title of the smallest habitable zone planet ever discovered by TESS. That's right, TESS could be on the verge of another mic drop moment, but we'll need some follow-up observations to make sure this isn't just a cosmic rumor. Now, as much as we love a good space mystery, TOI-715b isn't going to keep its secrets forever. The James Webb Space Telescope is about to do what it does best, snoop around the cosmos and give us the inside scoop. With a little help from Webb, we might just find out if this distant world is hiding some life-friendly real estate. TOI-715b's discovery didn't just add another name to the exoplanet roster, it's also expanding our imagination about what could be possible in the habitable zones of other stars. We're only beginning this thrilling journey, and who knows where the quest for extraterrestrial life will lead us next. But the adventure doesn't stop with TOI-715b. Next up, we're diving into Kepler-22b, a planet that might just be Earth's twin in the Goldilocks zone. If you're curious about what makes a planet potentially habitable, stick with us as we explore the fascinating features of Kepler-22b. This could be the discovery of a lifetime. 